Here we go, the record button. That could be nice to press. Okay. So I was gathering some wood. I need wood. Loads of wood. I do believe if I go to the Springlands, there's probably a lot of wood here. But yeah, I forgot to record the first hour of the, sorry, the, the, the stream and the video, but um, I mean, I only gather wood, wood for about 10 minutes. Okay, so the max stack is 250, eh? Hmm. I mean, that stack could be a lot bigger. Hang on a minute. Oh, that's a big tree. Okay, but here we go. Right. Okay, so right back at it. Ash. Loads of damage. Now, I do have the rings that give me, well, I'm 10% wood chopping strength, so that's something. It helps quite a bit that it does. I guess I'll need to title this video just <laughs> gathering wood or getting wood. <laughs> yes, double entendre. Okay, so again, I'm gonna repeat myself. Even though I haven't repeated myself, I forgot to press record, but yeah. I want to gather materials in order to finally expand my base to build a few more houses and maybe some bigger stuff. And also, I need materials for the obstacle course. Not necessarily much, because I do want to integrate the terrain somewhat. Then again, I could just create the terrain from the bottom sub, so we will see. Is this two stacks? Yeah, two and a half stacks. Is that gonna cut it? Because I, uh, yeah, I, I guess we will see. Because I don't necessarily need that much building material in order to expand my village, since each of the houses, they're not big. I just need more of them. I might as well finish this house while it's ready. Now, I have totally forgotten what I wanted this house to look like. I guess we will see. Is it just me or is it very cloudy right now? They haven't added weather yet, have they? Usually there's more sun. It's it, it's very cloudy, right? Okay, but uh, yeah, back to business. Oh, yeah, also forgot to record the part where I went down here. So this is the project that, that I'm currently working on, and I do believe that this is going to be the way that I gather limestone. Uh, because it's not the most efficient way to do excavation. But I do get some limestone in return, and I do need limestone. I mean, it's just a big hole right now, but eventually it's gonna be... I was going for a dwarven kingdom. I think it's gonna be more of a dwarven community-ish. Okay, so right meow. I mean, it's... It's, uh, it's very flat. But I at least I built something. Ah, uh, that doesn't... Uh, it looks weird. It doesn't look that out of place, though. With some minor details, maybe that could work. I mean, I, I'm not hating on it. It's lopsided, but yeah, I mean, just a finer bit of detail and it would fit in. Then I just need to extend this area. Okay, okay, so maybe we're cooking and I also need to add some paths. Perhaps dirt? If I do it kind of the same way that I do here, maybe. Because this is right underneath my base. I don't necessarily have need to make it that big because I do have this hole the holiest of holes it is a very deep hole and I wish now I did kind of <laughs> want to dig out this entire area but that's gonna take a long time not impossible it is not I mean I could start from the area that I've built now and just and start building myself downwards, maybe? I mean, yeah, it's not the uh, best way to get pretty, look um, pretty looking stuff. But I mean, that's kind of the deal. I'm not sure, how does this even look? It's, um, it's kind of all over the place. It does not look natural. But if I, let's say, just use bombs. Okay, now I'm thinking. It's going to take me a long time in order to get... The exploding barrels, but it's not going to take me a long time to get bombs. It's not some terrible nest. Here, I need linen. Out of everything that I need, I need linen. That's the big bombs. I don't have any more of the small bombs, but those are not too hard to gather. At least I know a place where I can get three every time. Huh. Okay, now I'm thinking a little bit outside of the box. I will not get any materials from it. But it could be fun just to explode this area. There's some potential in that. And if we place it down in this area, I have a little bit of a feeling. Okay, what is he fighting? What, he didn't die? Bastard. Yeah, because I can't pick up these things, can I? I just want to test that out too. Okay, let's just... Actually, first off, let's place it in the middle here. 
Okay, so now this place is mine. Can What happens if I dismantle this thing? Yeah, hello? Yeah, I had a feeling that, uh, that I did. It would be funny if I managed to get uh, the, 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 the actual exploding barrel. Again, could be a little bit OP. And not necessarily. I mean, what do you use explosive barrels for? For what purpose? Okay, let's extinguish this thing and place it a little bit outside. I mean, I want it close enough so that these bombs, because here's there's three. Again, I can just place it right. Okay, so I want that door to not be saved. So come on, like so maybe. And it's not that far to travel. And then I get three of those. Okay, log in. Okay, so now the bombs are back. I have known of this location for, well, <laughs> since I was here from the first time. So it has always been in my mind. No, I don't necessarily want to make linen. Again, I could test out, because linen is something that you can make passively-ish. So then you can make the bound bombs, which I presume are three times stronger. I'm gonna make more one at least, just to test out. But yeah, infinite bombs, that's something. 27 bombs in two minutes. Is that worth it? I guess we'll see. I mean, it's gonna be a lot faster just to dig the stuff out, especially if you place down just a building block and remove it. It's gonna make it more square too. And I do get building materials if I use just the terrain blocks. But yeah, okay. Oh, hang on. I need to test. Um, I can make it here, can't I? Uh, explosive power bomb nest. I can make one at least. Yeah, I'd give that a go. Why does it say... What? What's going on over here? I don't have that much linen, do I? Something weird is going on. Okay. I'm not sure what is going on. Am I using up all my linen? In. What's happening? Am I getting bombs? I am not. Crafting. What? Can't I make one? It is regular crafting, yeah? Explosives. What? With an arrow? With an arrow works, but I can't... Why can't I make this? Does it need to be in my inventory? Is that the trick? That would be weird because I don't usually have to do that. Linen, 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 linen. There's linen. Okay, and I do have the bombs. Okay. What? This is uncraftable? Okay, that's that's weird. I found something more weird in the game. Why can't I make this? I thought that like if the game had bugged and just gave me infinite of explosive power ball nest, net. I remember something. I've made this before. You know what? We're just gonna test out a simple login and out. Then we let the game cool down for a little bit. Can I make it now? No, I cannot. Okay, so that doesn't that doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? I am very sure that I've made this before. Huh. Strange. Could it be because it requires string and not linen? I mean, still I would be able to make it. Ah. Uh, okay, so that's uh, that's weird. Yeah, that's that's a little bit strange. Okay, let's test out the bombs then. Let's say if I want to go further up and this way. Do I take damage? I don't. I mean, it's not the most effective way <laughs> uh, to create uh, holes. It is a way to make at least the walls a little bit more natural, perhaps. That was all of the bombs, so that is definitely not a way. I mean, it is a way to get infinite bombs for whatever reason, but it is not the best way to excavate. This looks... it looks a little bit weird that it does. But we made a little bit of progress, right? So not, not too bad. I'm not sure why I would want to get that many bombs. I mean, it's very good to excavate a tiny area, but probably not for a big project. Okay, so we, we managed to do something. Now, I do want to expand this base. But the thing is, as you might have noticed, I'm not really that great of a builder. I can make simple houses. They don't look too good, though. But if I just spend more time decorating them, maybe use some other pallets, add some pallets, add a little bit of a foliage, because that uh, does make it a little bit more natural. Now, I could use... Uh, I have watched a building guide by Mr. See-Through, and it was very helpful to create stuff, but again, <laughs> it doesn't help much when you're not a great builder, so I need more practice. I mean, the building in this game is fantastic. Voxel-based uh, uh, building, plus that you get like, you know, like big structures that you can just build from the get-go. I mean, this thing you can just uh, hack away and everyone, everything is a square and out. Yeah, and, and it's slanted and all that kind of good stuff. But I must be honest, I kind of preferred the building in 
Valheim just because it was very restricted because everything there had to be connected to the ground and it was you know support pillars and everything i am not suggesting that enshrouded should get the same building of course not that that would be a pain and then i couldn't make the obstacle course yeah okay so i guess tomorrow i am going to perhaps gather a little bit more material try to get, dig a little bit more in the cave and also start somewhere on the obstacle course okay yes but i think we're gonna end it here and i'm gonna say as always until next time